What's up, guys? All right, so I forgot that the Call of Duty trailer came out today, so we're going to take a look at it. It's going to be like, a, you know, the reveal, whatever, you know, my, my reaction. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up, and let me see if I can get it. Oh, wow, IGN's still doing it live. Oh, it's still live. What? What is this? Let's see what it is. How did you get out of that plane? There's not a single scratch on your body. What's happening? You are alive because of what you've discovered. The ultimate evil. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. There are worse fates than death. Without repercussion, so I took my licks where I, I could. appreciate your dedication. To the <laughs> All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what they got. We're actually watching on the screen right now. We're Looks pretty damn back. good. What is it like watching yourself back? Having gone there, we saw the punch. And what is it like watching yourself back in a game at this point? Because obviously you've done TV. You've Going done back to World War II. Well, you know, it, you're, it takes a while to adjust to this tight, you know, suit that you're wearing. It's all colorful with these balls and the whole thing. You look the best. You look the best and in the once, suit. That guy's a good actor too, by the way. I like watching him on uh, <laughs> New 24. Heavy deadlifting makes the suit look nice. <laughs> Once like, you get past like that, and once you start to see some of you know some of the results and some of the stuff that the guys are working on in Foster City and all over the world, I think I'm not sure where everybody's at, but you know, again, thank you guys God for bless. all the work. Uh, but once you start to see what you're actually going to look like, it frees you up to really. That's pretty cool. To really go for it. I only caught a snippet it's, there. It's, I, I, need, I wanted so to be so able to see the actual too. gameplay. Serious. That's what I want to see. Yeah. And footage. So, it just gave, it gives you a whole new freedom. That yeah, excuse me. I mean, enchiladas too, by the way. When we're doing some of these winter scenes, you can squint at a fake sun and the volume. And the, those guys in, in uh, who, who have created this game build that in for you. So that freedom that he's talking about, it's, it's so exciting to explore. And I think it sets it up for what Call of Duty is, which is great storytelling. But please put hands together for our cast who've come down here today. The three J's. Thank you so much. And all we're talking about there is the campaign. That's just all we're talking about there. There we go. Don't campaign, baby. Yes. You're still excited right now. I mean, I think I'm just in a state of excitement. I can't really get out of it. That was awesome and very insightful to hear from the cast. Now, don't worry. We still have a lot of reactions and general tweets from the community to deliver to Glenn and Michael. We've got just a handful right here. We have Rob Stang who says, I hope Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield give us at least a little tease of multiplayer during the reel. Smiley face. <laughs> at Woodworth Noah, who, and this is in all caps, by the way, this is going to be amazing. Loads of exclamation marks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. N now, as I look through all the tweets, there is an enormous. Let me go ahead and adjust the video for you guys. Multiplayer, guys. We're gonna have to see what the, all of the. About multiplayer today. So there you go. The community has spoken. That's what lots of people are excited about. Michael, what can you tell us about multiplayer? Oh my goodness, we have so much to share. Now, we can't show you a lot today, a lot of big stuff coming at E3, but first and foremost... You can show us enough. ...boots on the ground combat. And, you know, that well-balanced Call of Duty run-and-gun action in a brutal and visceral head-to-head -head conflict of World War II. So from maps to movement to weapons to melee, you know, our goal was to give players an all-new boots-on-the-ground experience for World War II. And then a bunch of new stuff, right? We've got uh, war, an asymmetrical allied versus Axis mode where factions fight to capture or defend critical objectives. Now this mode changes map design, strategy, teamwork, and we're really excited about its potential. We're also excited about Divisions. Divisions is a fundamentally new way to approach your Call of Duty multiplayer career and it adds really? to player immersion by allowing players to enlist in a specific unit of their choice. Oh. And finally we have Headquarters. This is something special everybody at Sledgehammer Games and it's a first of a kind for the Call of Duty community. It's a, really a living space where fans can connect, be rewarded, compete, show off, and have fun outside of matches. It's a transformation of how the community comes together, and we really want you to see it to understand it. So, just a tiny peek. That has enchiladas, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. What are they showing? Oh, that looks sick. That was like a big ass community. You just run That's around. A tiny peek. <laughs> Tinier than I expected. Okay. <laughs> so when we see more, when we can see more of this, 
Well, you know, it's coming to E3, MP on the on the floor. For us, that's the first time Sledgehammer Games has been able to bring That was pretty fans. dope. Fans are coming to the conference, so it's going to be big. So We're imagine kind of like running around like, um... <clears throat> Excellent. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Playing any I'm sorry to interrupt. I mean, NPC game. player sounds sensational, but after reading other people's questions, I want to ask one of my own. Now I know that there may or may not be some sort of some sort of co-op mode within within World War II. Now, I am quite a big zombies fan and there is a lot of people watching around the world that it has to have war you can't have World War II without so zombies. We're all asking right here, right now, what can you tell us about this co-op mode? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Um, yeah, you know, our, our third mode is uh, it's an entirely new story, and uh, it's a pretty horrifying experience, sort of like your office. Um, you know, for, for Michael and I, it's our first horror game in years, and uh, we're really, really psyched about it. Uh, it's the story of uh, the Third Reich's desperate attempt to create an army in the final stages of the war. Uh, we can't wait to share more. Uh, in fact, should we show a little something? Just a little tiny, tiny little peek. Uh oh, yeah, show it, show it. Whoa! Whoa. It's darling before makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you very much. Um, uh, guys, I mean, this says very little, and normally I'm <laughs> a little disappointed, but how can I be when, I mean, that just looks incredible. I would yeah. ask for more, but I'm probably going to get a no, right? Uh, probably, yeah. At least I tried. <laughs> that, I tried. Is, that, is, that is a Nazi zombie on the biggest cinema screen <laughs> yes. in the United Kingdom. Yes. And I think that is a fabulous way to end this first look <laughs> World War II. No! It's been an absolute ton of fun, and it's been great having you guys here as well. No, I want to yeah, see so more. Much. It's been a pleasure. You know, our hearts are full being able to share with fans. And we hope fans are just as excited about Call of Duty World War II as we are to make it. Um, without a doubt, it's, it really is the most personal and powerful game I've ever worked on. And, I know we can speak for all the developers at Sledgehammer Games when I say that we're holding nothing back for November. Yeah, and you know, uh, you know, our thanks again for the support. Uh, this game is for you, and I'm sure Michael would agree. Uh, we've talked about this before that this is the best game we've ever made. The best game. The best, best game. Best game. Yes. Well, I have some qualms about that because they said that about the last one, and they said that about the previous one before that. So stick it in your eye, Cal, tattoo it to the inside of your eyelids. November the 3rd, that is when this new Call of Duty going back to its root is coming out. World War II with this game. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep in touch by the social channels. How should we leave it? The way we came in. Let's have another look at that trailer. Yeah, let's get that look at that trailer. This is what I've been waiting for. They have an opportunity to capitalize on something. Woohoo! We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. Duty first. Dude, these guys were absolutely fucking G's. Let me tell you that. From a modern soldier, knowing what we have now, equipment wise, these guys were brave as hell going out there in a fucking shirt. No armor. Fighting these wars, man. Oh. Damn. Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. Ooh. Too great. Oh, Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas, my boy. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Hell no, I ain't pre ordering. You ain't got me that. It ain't got me that good yet. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your first. That's dope. World War yeah. II. I'm Damon Hatfield. This is Marty Sleva. Hey, everyone.
Uh, so much to talk about. We want to know what you think of the new Call of Duty game. Tweet your comments and questions at uh. IGN using the hashtag C-O-D-W-W-W. Wow. We're going to break down everything we just saw. And Marty is a little... All right, man. So I'm going to pause them or mute them real quick and let you know my thoughts. That was a good trailer. Um, it was unlike anything I've seen uh, from them. I didn't quite expect that. And I'm actually really, really surprised. It looks good. Now, I don't feel like it looks battlefield good. Like, battlefield good. Let me adjust my microphone. I don't know if it's too damn loud. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's battlefield good, but it looks good, right? I mean, look at it. I really feel like I'm in that era. Now, and they did a shot here um, of a weapon uh, when you were a first-person first person view that looked really, really good. Um, I don't know if it's going to look as good as Battlefield. I feel like Battlefield 1 is, is possibly the best-looking um shooter of that you know of that era like you know that war era you know it's world war one but it looks fucking good so i don't know if they're going to be able to match that i mean they have to be able to match it makes me want to see what the hell the multiplayer is going to look like right now they're on a good start i think it looks a hell it looks good i mean a lot of people are going to say it's definitely that part right there uh, is definitely a step up from that crap, the, the trash that they showed us, at, uh, the infinite warfare or whatever that shit was infinite trash. Uh, this looks good though. looks promising. I would like to see what they are going to do at E3. Excuse me. They're going to show us uh, some campaign, just like a little tutorial even. And uh, show us what multiplayer will look like. Uh, I really am interested in what the multiplayer uh, plays like and looks like I, I want them to go back and slow down everything has been so fast paced from call of duty you know what i mean i want them i want to see more uh mechanical world war ii type weapons i don't want a lot of automatic weapons uh i think they've just outdone it like with infinite warfare they had so many weapons like that were automatic that were just they all shot the same fucking speed it's just it it made no sense between an smg or an assault rifle it did just the lines were so blurred i, I want them to get back to more mechanical i want rifles a few assault you know what i'm saying like a few assault right you know a few assault rifles or whatever but or a few automatic weapons but i want pistols and i want rifles burst weapons are great but I want to go back to that nitty gritty Call of Duty, not the freaking shit that we have now that has just turned into a fiasco. Uh, I want them to take out freaking sliding. I want going back to prone. I want all that good stuff. But I wanted to go back to Call of Duty roots where it was slower paced. There wasn't a bunch of sliding around, flying around, jumping off of walls, all that shit. I want to go back to raw gameplay. And that's why I love Battlefield 1 so much. That's why I like Battlefield series so much. It's because it feels like it has a rawness to it. it feels like it has a, a more realist realism uh, to it, uh, and it doesn't feel like you're going super fast and like just doing all kinds of crazy stuff, man. It, it feels it feels raw. It feels good, and that's why I love Battlefield series. So I'm hoping Call of Duty can come out this time and really give us a change of pace of what we've been used to for the last ten years. I mean, it's time for a change. Battlefield can do it, they can do it. And they may have the guts to do it better. Will they? We will see. We will see. But that's my reveal reaction. I know it was kind of long, I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to go ahead and skip ahead to the, like, the actual trailer, that'd be great. But that was great. I didn't know they were live right now either. I thought maybe they had already done this. Uh, I forgot what time they were even doing it. So I'm surprised that they were live and we caught it live together somewhat. Um, but you guys like the video make sure you like please comment please upvote this is for vidme i love interaction with you guys i hate putting out videos where nobody really you know talks back give me your thoughts on this thing let's light this comment section up i want to know what your thoughts are if you're expecting it if you're not expecting it uh what are your thoughts what do you want to see what do you want from call of duty what do you want from them 
because I know what I want from them. I just told you what I want from them. I want roots. Go back to the roots and uh, so I can have fun again. What do you guys want? Make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Tell me what you liked or didn't like about it. And uh, yeah, let's have a discussion. Catch you later. Peace.